Hey guys, um, it's been a while, I apologize, uh, I just recently returned to the US, uh, from Japan, and because I returned to the US, I decided to, uh, take some of my computer parts that I had in Japan, and bring it over to the US, so it took time to set up, and stuff like that. Um, what you're seeing here is of course the aircraft carrier, however, it is completely different from the one that I showed you guys in the last video of the aircraft carrier. So this is another completely new carrier. And the reason why, if you may be wondering why I created another carrier, is because I didn't bring the hard drive from Japan, so that's still left over uh, from in Japan. And I decided to create a new one because it would be unfair for me to just leave it there uh, for years to come, probably never come back to it. So here we have a new one, and for this build, I will be trying to do a um, roughly one-to-one -one build of an aircraft carrier. Um, the one from the last video was pretty small uh, in terms of its size and length and stuff like that. In these kind of sort of uh, builds, I don't have a very good reference because in Minecraft, you don't really have a measurement system. You want to try and convert a block to a uh, metric system that we know of. And basically what I did for this build is say one block roughly equals to one meter. And this ship right here, the, the size of the deck uh, lengthwise is roughly 325 meters uh, in real life. Uh, the Kitty Hawk, um, the deck is about 325 meters uh, across, and so I translated that into 325 blocks. Uh, so this deck should be from this point to the longest point at the end, should be 325 blocks. If not, it's uh, as close as it can be. Now, that's the deck length. Uh, the, the bottom portion of the ship is going to be. Uh, shorter than the deck of course uh, by only a few blocks um, it's not too big of a difference um, the real difference is with the width the width of the ship should be uh, significantly smaller than the deck on top and you can see areas like here where I had to kind of build up a slant or a ramp to the top so that way it wouldn't be too um, open here and it wouldn't it would give it a little bit more of a structural support kind of feel everything you see here is pretty much um the same design as the last uh carrier that i did so you know you have the same brick uh stairs for these um jet blast shields and then you have the uh same layout as you can see um you can tell the the carrier's island is much more different, and I would say uh, way better detailed than the last build I did. Um, and this is because I was able to search up on the internet um, a couple of images of the Kitty Hawk. I'll actually uh, link down in the description a website that showed a lot of uh, wonderful pictures of this ship. Gave me a lot of references and detail as to what things go where and how it should look so hopefully um you know this build does get to become a uh roughly one-to-one -one size of a carrier if it were in minecraft now i know there are people that already built carriers in the past i have never actually watched them or you know how they look so this is kind of a first for me and i've never really had any experience with this um just going off of basic pictures and seeing if they work and see if they look good when put down now if we go into the uh the bridge you go up a flight of stairs and to the right here you can see there's a little balcony uh, i got this from of course an image um, so all of this, all of what you see when I go throughout this uh, island, this bridge, is purely just my imagination and my, um, you know, my thought process. You know, what would they put here? 
so it's probably not accurate, definitely not accurate uh, at all, um, but I did my best to give it a little bit more detail, um, give it a sort of reality. Um, if you go down this hall right here, we just went up that stair, flight of stairs, uh, go up here, go to the right, we get a hallway that leads to the this uh, control room where you know you'll find the helm of the ship or the steering wheel uh, and then the captain's chair right here to the top left of the um, this room and we got a little map of here uh, it's not a perfect map of course it's just a concept I guess later on I'll try and uh, uh, change up some stuff some blocks and whatever um, you can tell that I, um, you know, instead of just having clocks as dials, you know, I could use compasses. So that's what I did. I added some compass and uh, these, um, I think they're, they're tripwire hooks. Yeah. Uh, put down on the item frame and it looks sort of like a lever, I guess. And, you know, I just put a, a tripwire hook normally on the wall right there. Got some hooks onto the wall and the... Uh, the walls to represent some uh, pipes that go up and down. All right, well, that's basically it. Um, these desks are just normal concrete with uh, these trap doors on top. You know, you can go out uh, once you leave this room, go on through this hall, you find this doorway onto the right. And you can go here. It's like a small little balcony to the side of the island. You can go down, go across, and you'll find yourself at an end point right here. Uh, of course, it's probably not realistic at all. There's probably more doors to get into, but this is just a concept, of course. Um, you can go through here, and we're back at that flight of stairs we were at. And if we go to this door, we'll find the flight of stairs that leads up to the second level. And here we have the... Um, not sure what it's called it's like the air traffic area where you know they deal with all the aircraft uh, right here you have the Ouija board and the layout of the ship and you know in the real scenario you'll have like different planes and models plans where you put the planes and stuff like that um, you can find this door that leads outside I did not put a lever there I uh, should because then you can't go out Put a lever here and you can go out. You can see there's a balcony uh, right uh, next to the windows. Let me clear the weather and get back in. Okay, here we have like some, I, I try to make them look like computers or monitors. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, right here we have that detail that I was talking about in the last video. Uh, make it look much more um, detailed than just concrete everywhere which it still basically is just concrete I'll have to add in more uh, detailing on the walls and stuff so it's not too boring uh, but yeah this is the air traffic control area and if we go towards this way um, we can get into the second level of the bridge um, there's nothing in this room that much. This is, of course, a concept. And later on, when I do get more information about what's on this level of the deck, I will input that in the later videos. And here we have another sort of balcony area you can look out of. Uh, that's basically it for this. Um, you can also go out here into this area, which is the top level of the island. And look out onto um, and then over here is the the uh, front of the island you can walk out of and yeah that is basically all for the island um, which is the most work I put into this ship right now so far so there's not much to this ship it's kind of sort of like the same empty shell like I did the last video um, however, I did um, change up a few things, like this tower right here. It's not connected to the island anymore, because uh, that was really weird looking. Uh, so I'm glad I did this build. And here we have the elevators. So far, I have two elevators finished. There's still two that I have to do, and once that's done, it should be a pretty good uh, 
hanger level the deck because right here we got the uh, the hanger level uh, the, over here there's gonna be a anchor room um, it's not gonna be connected uh, directly to the hanger so there's gonna be a wall of course you know up here we have another deck that's gonna be done worked on and it's gonna have a bunch of different rooms for uh, I guess crew quarters and stuff like that the ready room um, and below this deck I have to I have to break it because there's no stairs yet uh, which I will add of course we have the uh, bottom most deck um, I guess technically the hole is the bottom most but this is the uh, the deck right above the hole and in the hole I'll, I'm planning on building uh, machinery and engine rooms and stuff like that um, up here you're gonna have another uh, set of rooms another set of rooms maybe I'll have um, just a storage compartment area here I don't know I have to look at the books and the the information they have online um, to see what kind of rooms they have because I don't know the exact uh, things they would put uh, but yeah this is basically what I have so far I have the floors the decks pa planned out and um, you know the bridge is mostly done but I will of course be editing it throughout and give you guys an update uh, in the next video whenever that may come out I can also tell you guys, uh, you might have noticed, that I've changed the black concrete to blackstone. And the reason why I did that is I didn't really like how the black concrete was a very solid black color. Um, it didn't reflect as much light as I would want it to. Because um, if you see the images of some aircraft carriers, they, they aren't very black. It's more like a grayish color and that's because like the light that reflects off of them. So I thought maybe, you know, blackstone would be much better because it's not a pure black, but it's, of course, a sort of rough and concrete-ish, like, uh, stone, I guess you could say. Um, I should also mention, actually, um, the version... Hang on. Noisy thunder. Um, but anyway, the uh, version that I'm working on in this build is 1.16.5 as of right now. And you might have known that at uh, 1.17, um, the newest version of Minecraft has already came out uh, just recently. And because it was just recent, um, World Edit and Curse Forge still have not updated to that version yet. So I'm still kind of working on 1.16.5 just because it has the World Edit that I can use if I want to build something massive. Um, just like for this build. Uh, you know, you need as much power as you can to fill up some large spaces. Uh, especially helpful when you have to build all these decks, you know, because without World Edit, it would be very um, time consuming and labor heavy. So, yeah. Uh, over here, we have the Sea Wiz again. I could also tell you guys that I updated the design and I think it looks way better with the uh, dropper at the bottom um, it's definitely way better than I had before uh, so hope you guys like this design that I've made I definitely do and this is just another deck there's another side over here it's basically the same thing but mirrored um, you got the sea whiz again and that's it that is all I have uh, for this video um, be sure to give a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will give you guys another update soon, maybe. Um, I'm not sure yet. But, um, I'll be trying to do as much as I can to make this as detailed of a carrier as possible. But yeah, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.